VAR a penalty from victory, from everything. It's Lee Mansell. Mansell got it! Yes, it is! Beautiful! Curator with Beadle free, and Beadle scored! Would you believe it? Injury time! On his empty if he slides it! Sammy Igo! Is he going to settle it? He has done! Bristol Rovers are going to be promoted! Going into the box though! That was unexpected! Blissett! Oh yes! Oh yes, Chrissy Lines! Short trip to Bristol, optimistic of promotion. Ricky Lambert struck. Bristol Rovers, the Gas, a southwest team also known as the Black Arabs in 1883. Playing in the third tier of English football, from the highs and lows of their football career, Bristol Rovers have achieved great success in the last two years, following relegation in the 2013 and 2014 season to the Vamarama Conference. This includes back to back promotions and records we have accomplished. This is my experience being a Gas head. In the 2006 and 2007 season, Bristol Rovers were fighting for automatic promotion from League 2 to League 1. By this point it was their 80th season in the Football League and was the 124th year of football played by the boys in blue and white. Although being knocked out of the League Cup first round by Lewin Town on penalties, this didn't stop their promotion chances, even after they lost 3 out of 4 league games to a rough start. Rovers mainly picked up their form towards the end of the season from March 17th against Notts County, winning 2-0 at home to the very last game against Hartlepool United, where we slipped in a 2-1 win to help us stay in towards playoffs. In between them 11 games, they won 8, drew 2 and lost 1. That's Campbell! Oh my goodness gracious me! Rovers later on went to beat Lincoln in both legs to reach Wembley against Shrewsbury Town and go on to win 3-1 after being 1-0 down. Time it goes in that Bristol Rovers box as I got in behind Langmead, and that is a splendid goal. Brilliantly finished, and he's done it again. Wembley 2007 against Shrewsbury. It was my first ever football match, and at the time, I have never watched my beloved Rovers. It was my first time watching Rovers. Um, I remember it clear as day, it was the best day of my life at the time. My second favourite moment ever as a Bristol Rovers fan has to be Wembley again. It's almost like deja vu to 2006. Same state of mind, um, trying to achieve the same target again. League 2 to League 1, but this time it got more intense. Especially after coming straight back up from the worst year of our lives as a gas head. Points or better today and they will extend their 94 year stay in the Football League. It was May the 3rd, 2014, final day of the 2013 to 14 season. We're battling relegation, a point or more would keep us up, but the only thing that was in our way was, well, Mansfield. Bristol Rovers had chance. Matt Harold. They can make sure. After chance. It's David Clarkson with the ball in. After chance. And they get that goal. John Joe O'Toole's header. John Dempster. Until eventually. For Colin Daniel! Stunning goal, and Rovers are stunned. They might just have a problem here now. Really well taken goal.
I couldn't believe it. I mean, a team like us going down to the conference and becoming non-league, it was just heart-stopping. But little did everyone know, that was the best thing that ever happened to us. The flowers are dead and gone behind the Eastville goals. Traffic's a little quieter on the Stapleton Road 2014-15 season, we're down under the radar There's only one thing to do and that's go straight back up where we belong And we did just that Can you hear the tolling boys sing? I can hear everything. Bristol Rovers finished second that season. One point below Barnet who finished top on 92 points. This forced Rovers into playoffs against Forest Green. After a 3-0 win against Forest Green on aggregate, both home and away, we had one more important match which would tell the difference between where we'd be next season and, well, where we'd be now really, but Grimsby Town, my second favourite match I've ever witnessed. From the scenes of matches down at the bottom level, Bristol Rovers proved themselves worthy of a chance to make a dramatic return back into the Football League. But there is one thing stopping them, this time Grimsby Town, a team from North East Lincolnshire who finished on 86 points, claiming the third spot. The Mariners looking to come through midfield. This is a dangerous moment, Nathan Arnold with a But it all started wrong for Rovers, just two minutes into the match. John Lewis took the lead for the town. Showpiece game by going down to an early goal. How often has it happened in the past? Rovers move, resulting in a second corner. Then history happened for Rovers. 29 minutes in, Ellis Harrison takes his shot to send his side to a penalty shootout. Ellis Harrison! My beauty! Fantastic moment for the gas! We're still singing Grimsby! We're here! We're alive! It came to a penalty shootout and I never felt so nervous because penalties can go one way or another. It doesn't matter how much you've dominated a game. Penalty shootout just changes the whole aspect of the game. But it's the luck of the draw, really. Luckily, one of their Grimsby players skied one of their shots over the bar. John Paul Pittman! Sky is his kick! So then it came down to Mansell's last penalty to send us back up. From victory, from everything, it's Lee Mansell. Come on, Lee. Mansell! It was so horrible just watching that, but despite our season run, we didn't even play well in a day, but because of Mansell, because of Mansfield getting us relegated, this is where we are now. Despite relegation out of the Football League, Bristol Rovers made a dramatic return, hoping to at least finish in the top 10 of League 2. They had great success in the 2015-2016 league, winning 26 out of 46 games. This led Bristol Rovers down to the final game of the season, currently sitting in playoffs at 4th. All they needed was a win, and other results which included Oxford or Acton Stanley to go their way. The best thing about this match was 
We needed to win to secure automatic promotion, but we needed either Oxford or Ackleton to lose. Bristol Rovers conceded in the 12th minute of the game, which seemed their dreams of promotion were dropped. Having Oxford to be winning at this point, although Ackleton was still 0-0. I remember us taking a throw-in down our attacking side of the pitch. Promotion fight between three sides. Great ball in. Then, out of the blue, Billy Bowden just pulls out some magic. Away. Mention that over with Jens. Twisting and turning, great play, what a goal this would be! Oh, in the race for promotion. We had missed chance after chance as the nerves of Rovers fans built up in the ground while Ackerton was still tight at nil nil despite hitting the crossbar twice. I remember just being stood there and watching every attempt and every sit of go white thinking we wouldn't even score. Until the 9th minute of the match, Matty Taylor struck the ball straight into the post, only for it to come back out on forward to Lee Brown's feet, but for him putting it away is pretty dramatic scenes all over the men as 11,000 gas heads went crazy. It was the best moment of my life. The fact that we had to wait on other results and we left it to the last minute just made it even more dramatic and the feeling, the feeling was insane. It was just so emotional, back to back promotions from the worst part of our lives. I couldn't be more proud of supporting who I support and that's the gas. I was blue